So what are you guys? We're part of the Sparkwood family. Here's another sort of pseudo challenge problem using the pigeonhole principle. So imagine you have an integer lattice. So a lattice grid is something like this. Imagine you have the xy plane and you look at like numbers like this. You know where the coordinates are all integers. So you look at this grid of integer lattice points like this. Okay? So you're looking at the set of guys a and B, where A and B are uh, integers. So integers being like uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but also negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 on down. Okay, and this is just a symbol for integers. So this is, of course, really the Zal is on of Deutsch, basically number, means number. Okay, so anyway, let's go back to this and try this out. So what's the question? So let's say we have um, 10 line segments joining five points, any five points you want. So it's 10 line segments joining five points. So the only qualification is you're picking five points at random. So, you know, like here, 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 and say here. The only thing is these coordinates have to be integers. So negative two, five, okay. Uh, 10,000 and 16,000, okay. 1.5 and 2.5, not okay. Okay, okay, so we take these five guys and then we have 10 segments joining them, okay? So, you know, just random, one, two, Three. By the way, that is a mini problem we can show. Um, if you have five points, right, and you pick this first point, how many, line, how many segments could you draw to these other guys? We well, can draw four of them, right? So you can draw four. Okay. So if we take those four segments out, now we look at this guy. Well, he's already connected to this guy. So how many other segments can you draw from him to the other guys? That would be three. What about this guy? Well, we've, he's already been hit by this guy and this guy. So there are only two other points out there. So you can draw two more segments and then one more segment like this. And so this is going to be 7, and 9, 1, 10. Okay? So when we encode that you have 10, lines, 10 line segments joining any five points, what we're really saying is we're picking any five points out in the integer lattice, and we're just connecting all those points together. Okay? So, you know, so that's another way of seeing the same problem. So let's just say this. Okay. All right, so um, anyway, what's the problem? So the problem is this. Can you show me that it is guaranteed that one of those line segments passes through another integer lattice point. You know, for any given case, it could be that these two guys are integer lattice points, and this guy, and maybe the integer lattice points between them look like this, and this guy just misses them, okay? But our claim is, if you look at all the segments showing these five points, any five points picked at random, there's at least one additional lattice point out there that one of these segments hits, okay? So the question is, can you show me that? Can you can show you? me that one of these segments hits another lattice point, okay? Integer lattice point. It is a challenge problem, it's not that big a deal. It might have been obvious to you, it might take a while. It totally depends, it's more hit or miss, right? Depending on what sort of strategies you have, how you think of it. So I think if you drew out a bunch of these pictures, you would start to maybe see a pattern, at least for some of the points, and that might give you inspiration for how to attack this problem. We could try doing that, but that would make the video like way longer. So let's just start off like this. All of these are pretty numbers, right? And one property that you'll see come up over and over again um, in the setting and contest problems uh, and problems in real life, computer science, stuff like that, is parity. So parity is whether you're even or odd. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to group them into different classes. So let's say here the uh, x-coordinate is even. And let's say here the x-coordinate is odd. And let's say here the um, y-coordinate is even. And let's say here the y-coordinate is odd. And again, I tried to set up the solutions. We get a little practice on counting. So if you're thinking about x coordinate, y coordinate, even or odd, how many different cases can we get? Well, here for the x coordinate, we have two choices, even or odd. So there's two choices for the x coordinate. There are two choices for the y coordinate. You know, in the middle of making choices, you multiply. So that'd be two times two. There are four possibilities. Here it's so mellow, we're going to write them out. So you can have even, even. You can have even, odd. Right? You can have um, even, sorry. You can have odd even and odd odd okay so um, if you didn't find a solution to this already what you might want to do is try to organize points in these four different conditions okay so let's try this remember the hints here were um, it might help to categorize like this it also might help to use the pigeonhole principle Sorry, my bad, that was stupid of me. I erased the wrong part. All line segments joining them, so I didn't mean 10 line segments, duh. I meant five points and all line segments joining them. But anyway, back to the problem. Okay, so let's try to use the pigeonhole principle here. Because you have five points, but you only have 
four slots, right? That means at least one of those slots must have two guys in them, right? Because if we space them out and put a point here, 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 and here, you still have to place that fifth point. So there must be some category where you have two points in the same category. Okay, why would this matter? Well, that's where drawing the picture would help. If you drew a bunch of these pictures and looked over and over again, you notice that in every set of five points with the 10 segments joining them, that every single time you'd actually have one lattice point that was halfway between two of the points. Okay? So if you looked at enough pictures, you think, is that always true? Is the midpoint always going to be a lattice point, right? So if we think about the midpoint, that's going to be inspiration here. How do you compute the midpoint? So let's say we have um, A1, B1 as one of our points. And let's say we have A2, B2 as another one of our points, right? How do we get the midpoint in the segment that's joining them where you average each coordinate? So that would be A1 plus A2 over 2. And you get B1 plus B2 over 2. And you know, what you're really doing is you have a guy like this. And you're just taking the average of the x-coordinates, which is like this. And then, let's try it this way. The average of the y-coordinates, which is like that. And you'll be getting the midpoint. Okay? All right. So this is the setup, right? So then why did I want to put them in the boxes? So why does it help? Well, if you were in even, even, for example, if you add two guys, so if the x-coordinates are both even and you add them together, you're going to get another even number because an even plus an even is an even. And we divide an even by two, you always get a whole number. Whole number here meaning there's no decimal or fractional component, right? So for example, 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. There, it's not 3.5 or 3.2, it's just 3. So if this guy here were even, the sum here would be even, and divided by 2, this would give you an integer. So you'd actually end up with an integer right there, okay? And the same is true for the y-coordinates. And that means the midpoint would have integer numbers for the x and y-coordinates, which means it would actually be a lattice point. Okay, but what about this case? Because we arbitrarily picked even-even. What if it had been odd-even? Well, again, even plus an even is an even, same logic as before. But an odd plus an odd, like 1 plus 1 is 2, is also an even. So again, we'd have the even-even scenario when we sum them, right? And then when we divide by 2, we'd have an integer and an integer. Again, even plus even is even, odd plus odd is even, odd plus odd is even, odd plus odd is even. So no matter how we do it, that midpoint is always going to be an integer lattice point. So it's not guaranteed that for every segment, you're going to have the midpoint be an integer lattice point, right? Because as we saw here, like these guys could end up randomly like this. But we'll find at least one segment where that's true. Anyway, good job. Let's let these pigeonhole principle problems go, and let's find something else to do.